Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to access expired futures and options contracts in the Go charting. So let me show you the icon from where you can access it. So if you see the widget bar, so this is our widget bar on the right side. And here on the bottom, if you see there is a circle and a cross, you can see if you hover your mouse over here, you will see the expired contracts. Okay. So before going into this, let me show you other settings also. So if you click on this top left, here you have option to keep the widget bar either left or right. So if it is set on the left widget bar, so the same thing will be shown on the left side. Okay. So here the expired contracts you can see on the left side. So it depends if you have set it on the left or the right. So I prefer to keep it on the right. So this is my widget bar. Now there is another setting. If you see there is a small arrow pointing towards the right side. If I click on that, my widget bar will be hidden. Okay. So in that case, you have to again search for this small arrow pointing towards the left side. Now click on that. And now this expired contract option is visible. So let us click on this expired contracts. Okay. So this is our expired contract menu. Now we have to search your underline. So suppose you want to search for Nifty. So let's search for Nifty. As you type Nifty, you will see these options over here. So click on the Nifty 50. Now here you have two options. One is options contract and another is futures contract. So if you click on the option or future based on your liking, you have the option to select the expiry date. So for example, I'm choosing this expiry date. Now these are the option contracts if you scroll it down based on the strike prices. Okay. And this is the chart menu. So suppose I want to see the chart of 20,150 call option. I click on this chart menu. And here the chart of the expired auction contract is visible. Now if I want to see the futures chart, click on the futures, click on the expiry date. And here you can select the dates. Now this is our futures chart. If I click on that, this is our expired future contract. Thank you guys.